This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then cross out your eyes. Sway in the morning. Shave four five. Ooh, you know how to be. It, it, it's, it's moments like these that we're, we're, we're actually about to experience right now that, that, that makes me count my blessings every day I wake up and I breathe. Talk about you it. You know, this show, when we first came to Shave 4 5, was, you know, they they they, 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 they marginalized it and they, they, they called us, they boxed us in and said it's a hip hop show. Mm. Lies, lies, no, no, lies. That's not what this is, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. This is a life show right here. Oh. Mm. And, and, and even from hip hop, you know, it's not that we all only listen to rap music every day. We have experiences that we share and we express ourselves through lyrics. And when you have these moments or you meet these people who impact you in a, in a positive way, um, and you have a chance to meet them in person and share that with them. It's nothing. There's nothing more amazing than that. Mm. And our next guest um, has been, I don't know, a topic in our conversation for decades yes. now because of the work she does. She personifies what it means to be an actress, but then an all around great person. You'd be hard pressed to find anything that would ever tarnish her legacy or do a disservice to her craft. Uh, we've seen her play some of the most powerful figures um, in, in history, mm -hmm. whether it was Betty Shabazz, mm. uh, whether it was Kate Jackson, uh, whether it was Rosa Parks and her Oscar nominated uh, depiction of the one and only the legendary Tina Turner. Mm. Uh, and the list goes on and on again, <laughs> how she reinvigorated women all around the world to go searching for young booty. Uh, <laughs> On how Stella got her groove back. Yes. Uh, the one, the only, the magnificent, the amazing Angela Bassett. Woo! It's on our show today. Yay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Thank you. Yes. I'm going to start off with a hug. Thank you. Oh, Church. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. Congratulations. Oh, what an yo. honor to be here. Thank oh, you. Man, oh, the so honor kind. is ours, man. Yes. I've, I've watched you over the years, and, you know, I, I've actually looked for, you know, you know, in my dating past, you know, I. Oh, you know, here we, I, go. Uh -huh. here we go. You know, Angela. You know, um, you <laughs> know. You say, I, what you saying? Yeah, well, I dating past. Uh -huh. my dating, you know, I used to have. You know, we set goals for ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, and mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times with women, if I was like, "Well, does she look like Angela? Oh, all right, does she act like Angela? <laughs> uh, you know, uh, the, does she act like Angela? You know, right. you know, you know, <laughs> uh, you know. And if they didn't have some, you know, Angela Bassett criteria, then I wouldn't date them. Mm. Oh. And you're here I now. like to believe this lady. That mm. biceps is too weak. Huh? Let no. me see your arms. <laughs> Can I see your arms? Up today, but maybe they're in this. Oh, damn, that's harder than mine. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Lucky you. Tell me, girl. Um, <laughs> leather. Okay. Uh, where do we start with you? Um, congratulations on your directorial Thank debut. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Um, with this Whitney film. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, with, this is the this is a challenge it's a big big deal it's a big Absolutely. deal and i was reading up on it because whitney's you know her life you know arguably the greatest uh singer of our generation that's right the voice um mm -hmm. but it was so much about whitney outside of her voice that you know kept our attention you know whether it was the you mm -hmm. know controversy behind her relationships uh, behind you know extracurricular activities that she did in life or those partying whether it was drugs and even the way she passed away, I was actually at the hotel on the red carpet, oh mm -hmm. um, um, working mm -hmm. on behalf of MTV mm -hmm. at the Clive Davis party mm -hmm. when, when everyone found out, and it just put a damper on how, everything. How could it not? Yeah, yeah it meant so much to us. So, but a rich, complicated life. Rich, Truly complicated a life. Complicated, you yeah. know, person and uh -huh. and a life in the in the glare and the spotlight that mm -hmm. just that doesn't make it any easier. Mm -hmm. You know, and. Uh, an image of perfection that's crafted yeah and to try to live up to that mm -hmm. to try to bust out of that mm -hmm. to try to live your truth I mean it really was a perfect image mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. we often call her the princess mm -hmm. yes. you know she was our princess and, mm -hmm. and then to meet up with the bad boy yeah. or something yeah. you know that was you know a mantle a title put on him mm -hmm. well of course that sounds pretty good I think when you're trying to break out of a a boys group a bubblegum Mm -hmm. Boys group, mm -hmm. candy girl. Uh, I mean, yeah. yeah, I'm, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Well, I'm a grown person now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, you know, <laughs> yeah. I don't, yeah. don't want to do that forever. Yeah. yeah. So, oh yeah, bad boy. That sounds. Yeah, mm -hmm. call me that. Mm -hmm. You know, I got a little bit of that in me. But mm -hmm. then when folk collide and fall in love, yeah, and we on the outside have our 
our opinion mm-hmm. of that love. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes when you say no, 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 that's the very thing we as human beings run to yeah. also or want to do. Yeah. Mm. As a director, you you have a choice. You know, you you could put anything in that script. You could show anything. Um, well, I didn't write the script. You the didn't script write the script? Mm-hmm. Okay. It was written. When I came on board, it was written. There was, you know, a first scri- an initial script that covered from birth to death yeah. or from cradle to grave, uh-huh. as they say. Mm-hmm. And, of course, that was just way too much for a television movie that's 88 minutes, mm-hmm. you know, not two hours, but 88 minutes with commercial breaks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was way too much to try to cover. Yeah. You know, you would just, I don't know what would be just a, a collage of this woman, you mm-hmm. know, with mm-hmm. music undertones or yeah. something. Um, and, and that would make you feel cheated, I think, more, yeah. than, more than we can realize just thinking about it or hope, wishing for what we think we want to see. So it was um, a portion of her life, a very important, you know, uh, time and period in uh-huh. her life. Mm-hmm. You know, she had, she was number one star. Yeah. Working with the number one box office star, Kevin Costner, and Bodyguard. Oh, and for us to yeah. see uh, yeah. this sister in this role, object of affection, mm-hmm. he's bodyguarding her. She's a star. That was, that was new. We, yeah. Everything. It was everything. It was, you know, it was everything to me and mm-hmm. Hallie and Vivica and every young girl mm-hmm. that was in Hollywood, mm-hmm. Alfrey and this, trying to you know, do this thing. You're yeah. not, you know, often the lead of anything. Yeah. You know? Now, this is true. That right. was her first lead role, right? Mm-hmm. And, and he, then, Kevin Costner, waited a year. You know, said, well, 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 pick anyone. Or, I mean, is it important? He said, no, it's this girl. Yeah. And I will wait till she is available. Because mm-hmm. she was, you know, music. I'll wait till she's ab- available. Wow. Mm-hmm. And he waited a year. And he ins- he was number one star. He could insist. Yeah. And uh, they did. And, and the soundtrack was... Amazing, right? Off the right? chain. Yeah. She mm. produced that. She sang that. You know, and Clive made it the number Clive one Davis. sound. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Clive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So kind of <laughs> like, on us, you Angela. know who yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Angela, name <laughs> dropping. Angela, yeah. name no, dropping. No, you know, it's funny. In the movie, there, you know, there's certain points where I, you know, with the actors, you know, I would look to see if they were easy, if they could be easy with each other or improv a little bit. Yeah. And so I might say, oh, you know, I read somewhere that, um, uh, what Michael gave Whitney for her birthday, her 26th birthday. But I'd say, uh, say, Whitney, tell Mama what Michael gave you. I said, do not say Michael Jackson uh-huh. because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody yeah. ought to know who we're talking right. about. Who Michael, right? is. Michael yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're at the, at the Soul Train and, and she says, Oh, oh, I didn't win. You know, I'm happy for Anita, my girl Anita. Yeah. Don't say Baker. Don't say Baker. We yeah. know who we're well, talking Anita about. Is, right? yeah. Okay, <laughs> exactly. so Clive. Okay. okay, so Clive. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, Angela Bassett has joined us. I want to open up the phone lines, yes. 888-742-3345. And, you know, it was re- recently a biopic done on a, the life of Aaliyah. Mm-hmm. And it and it got a lot of backlash uh-huh. because people felt like the uh, portrayal was... Oh, folk were fine. Uh, 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 yeah. Yes. I want to ask you... You know, did these thoughts into your mind as a director of this movie about Whitney Houston? I want you to answer that when we come back. Well, as of tonight, I'm a Bobby Brown fan. Wow. Is that how it happened? How Bobby and Whitney met? Yeah, at the Soul Train Awards. I 1989, the third annual Soul Train. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, Angela Bassett is here, uh, the director of the movie Whitney, the biopic that's um, airing. January Saturday. 17th, Saturday. In two days. In two days wow. on the Lifetime Network. Uh, and what, you know, Whitney, you know, people are sensitive about their Whitney Houston. I know. Don't it's, mess with folks, baby. You know, mm-hmm. and, and as they were. And with, I am too. You are too, right? Yeah. Did you, were you a little concerned? The, did you see the Leah biopic? Did you see that at all? Yes. Um, and you, you, I'm sure you were aware of a lot of the backlash mm-hmm. you received. Did, did that concern you going into making this as a director? Well, uh, we were both filming around the same time. Yeah. You know, actually, we started filming same time, went into pre-production, and I think they lost their, you know, first Aaliyah. Uh-huh. So, actually, we were in the thick in the thick of ours, so I thought, well, they lost her, and, you, are, you know, mm-hmm. uh, the fans and folk were saying, we don't particularly like this actress you picked, and then she pulled out. So I thought maybe it wasn't happening. So, yeah. when my sister called me and said, oh, it's coming on, I said, no. They yeah. didn't make it. Yeah. <laughs> <She> said, <laughs> it didn't happen. 
happened. Yeah. So I was really, I was, you know, surprised. So, so you you didn't hear any of that, of course, yeah. while you're filming. I didn't yeah. think they were filming it. So when I saw it and saw how people were, you know, mm-hmm. uproar about it and so mm-hmm. sensitive about it, I, I... You know, it's. I mean, when you make a movie, you just you don't have hopes that it'll be bad, and every yeah. folk will not like it. Yeah. You know, you actually yeah. think the other. Mm-hmm. But it's so much that goes into it. There's so many moving parts. It's amazing that any film gets done in the first place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But knowing what we had done, the work that we had put in, yeah, um, I knew. I just felt like we had met the moment. Yeah. you know, brilliantly, and we and uh, folk would uh, would fall in love okay. with what we had done. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Was it because of your relationship with uh, Whitney Houston? From I don't know if y'all met on Waiting to Excel. Yeah, that's, that's where, where we you met. met. That's first place, first um, time we met. What can you tell us about her that that your average you know fan wouldn't know that you experienced with her on set? She was just I mean she was regular. We got her jeans and her sneakers on, uh-huh. you know, hair pulled back, nothing, you know, no um, makeup and glam or this, that, and the other thing. She had her her. Her aunt around her, looking mm-hmm. after her. Her baby daughter was on set with her. She mm-hmm. had her, her family, you know, a little coterie of folk who were around her that she trusted. Yeah, you know, and um, she was wonderful. Go, yeah. you know, it was going bowling, mm-hmm. you know, smoking cigarettes, <laughs> laughing, talking, uh-huh. you know, carrying on, but very, very professional. Came to work. She knew her lines. As a matter of fact, mm-hmm. some of the Oh, who's supposed to be the actor actors yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. didn't know their lines yeah. in scenes with her mm. but she carried on as if she heard the correct you know response you yeah. know so it was and, and that's when we got kicked out of watching dailies every night because we're like what yeah how can they show up and not do what we do mm-hmm. and you know mm-hmm. and mm. she's on point on that point. ain't right yeah. <laughs> you know because mm. a lot of times actors who spend their life Acting, and you you know you might have a, a beat someone like a Beyonce or a Jennifer Hudson who jump into some major roles mm-hmm. and then end up winning an Oscar. You know what I mean? Right, and, right, and, right, and, right. and some some actors might feel spiteful, but you guys received her open arms. So. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Uh-huh. I remember meeting her that first day, and just I just was able to fawn and just say, I think you are amazing. It's as God has really just touched you and mm-hmm. anointed your voice. It just seems so it feels and seems so apparent and sounds so apparent of course can you do that touch you thing to me again? oh, 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 just, <laughs> oh <laughs> god sway look at, him. Right, right, look right, at right, this stand know? forgive him thank you angela <laughs> i just wanted you to touch me that's what this whole interview was all about <laughs> Whitney, you know uh go ahead heather i'm sorry <laughs> no it's funny it's a perfect <laughs> lead and actually you mentioned um god and meeting someone for the first time and i was laughing this morning on air Angela, because I told this story some time Mm ago, Uh, about three years ago, probably to this day in January, I was working at Melba's uptown in Harlem Mm -hmm. and you walked in Uh and you were doing mountaintop, I believe. And you walked into Melba's and you sat down with some people. I I overheard you say something about a Broadway play and you sat in the corner. I was a bartender at the time and I walked over to you. It was some fuss going on and I made you some drinks. That special concoction. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I made you some sangria. Right, right. I did. Right. It was a special concoction. I told you to twirl it around, and it, I called Sway because I was uh, so excited. I was only working here one day a week at the time, and Sway was like, "You should have introduced yourself to her." And I was like, "I couldn't." And I always because there was some stuff going on. Huh? It was some stuff <laughs> going on. And no, it was just she was you know like, what? I know how to neutralize all of this. <laughs> give her a drink. <laughs> and, <laughs> give her a drink. And it's always respect people's space. You know, that was the thing, too. You, Angela Bassett, you walked into a restaurant that I happened yeah. to be working so in. So that really happened then? Yes. It really, yeah, so they didn't believe me. Okay, Even right. though I called him from the place and he said, <laughs> you should have said hi, you should have did this. And I always mm-hmm. promised myself one day, if I saw you again, I was going to give you a drink and make you a drink. I bought something for you today. Oh. I know you're doing press, but you don't have to <laughs> You don't have to drink it on air. But I bought you something today for okay. you. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. This is just a... Congratulations and applause. Oh, oh so my it's a gosh. nice thing for you. Rose. Congratulations and a promise and a dream came Net true. Thank you so much. Damn, look at that. Look at full that. circle it's moment. A big, yeah, it was a one. full circle moment for me because you I would have never thought in three years' time that this moment would have happened. Mm. And Sway told me to go say hi. I was like, something will happen one day. And sure enough, mm-hmm, today's the day. Mm-hmm. So thank it you. Sure okay, 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 so thank it really you. happened. It All right. Shut up, Sway. <laughs> okay, we, we, got, we got Lisa on the line from Ohio. Say hello to Angela Bassett, Lisa. Hello, Angela. Hi, Lisa. 
I am driving in my car right now, and I can't believe I'm actually speaking to you, but I just want to tell you that I'm only 23 years old, and growing up over the years, I've seen you in movies, Mm -hmm. and for the longest time, I couldn't put a name to a face. Mm-hmm. until just a few years back and I realized oh my gosh this is this woman I just love her and I love you as an actress I love you as a person Thank whenever you. I listen to you in interviews you just you carry yourself in such a way that I think all women should aspire to be a little bit like Angela like how Sway was saying he tries to date women that are like Angela <laughs> I think I try to aspire myself to be a little bit like Angela in certain ways and I think you're just incredible so yeah. thank you for oh, everything that you do and I'm excited to see this, this. movie Oh, thank you so much, Lisa. Okay. I appreciate that. And then, you know, also don't forget American Horror Story Freak Show. That that also airs Wednesdays at 10 p.m. on FX. Angela has three breasts on that. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, that's right. Well endowed. Desiree Fully Dupree. Sold. Did you bring your third breast three with you? Three breasts and two. Uh, okay. Ooh, no. Yeah. All right. <laughs> two hey. cleavages. That was, yeah. man, that, that was very exciting. Uh, we got uh, Tia from Illinois on the line. Good morning. What would you like to say to Angela Bassett? Hi, Hi, good morning. I just want to say hello. You are my favorite actress. My favorite movie is What's Love Got to Do With It. Thank you. And so I just really appreciate it. I'm actually on my way to a meeting, but I wanted to say hello. And I'm so appreciative that someone like you as close to Whitney was able to pull this off. And I hope you get the rave reviews that I know because it, I saw a lot of the behind the scenes and what mm-hmm. you post on your Facebook page. So just congratulations and keep on moving. And I'm glad <sighs> that we still have someone as timeless as you. As mm. classy as you in the film industry. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tia. Thank you know, you. I appreciate that. Absolutely. We want to test you out, Angela, because we're such big fans of yours. Mm. We want to see if you're a fan of yourself. Oh, okay. Because we, we got a game called Knowledge Yourself. We're going to play when we come <laughs> back. Sway in the Morning, Shave 4 5. Hey, Sway in the Morning, Shave 4 5. The Oscar nominated Angela Bassett yep, is yep, here. Yep, 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 yep. Hey. AKA Tina Turner. Um. <laughs> um you know, we have a segment called First Day with Kelly Kincaid. This is Kelly Kincaid. A weekly we do this to uplift people's uh, mind, body, and spirit. And today we had a motivational speaker, a life coach, um, A.J. Johnson, oh, as our special guest. AJ. You know, A.J., mm-hmm, actress mm-hmm, as well. And we told her you were coming on the show. She got so excited, and it's something she wanted to say to you. Oh, okay. Hey, Angela, it's AJ from L.A. I just wanted to say I love you. Please know, kudos to you. I am because of you as an actress, as a woman, as a person. Um, Happy Delta anniversary. I know we're Sarah now. And I just want to say that I love your directing. I love your expanding your life. And, And what would you say to people to say not get stuck and how do you live the new you? How do you live the new you? The topic was people letting go and becoming the best person they could be. Well, I I'm, I really believe that you've got to just look at life and and just not take it for granted and always look for the wonder, you know, mm, wonderful, the wonder. you know, find the good and praise it, yes. you know, embrace and, uh, it, yeah, mm. embrace yeah. it, praise it, okay. it, expect, look to be surprised to yeah. learn new things, and sometimes a little bit of fear is great because it means you're getting out of your comfort zone, mm. and being an actress that's absolutely the case because I didn't have anyone to go before to show me how to do this thing or, mm-hmm. or what, you know, get, step out on faith and just try to make good sense of it. Mm-hmm. Um, and you certainly as an actress can go through ebbs and flows, you know, you're not on the top all the time, but whenever you meet the moment, always bring your best, you know, come in prepared, mm-hmm. um, come in trying to, you know, with enthusiasm mm-hmm. and it comes back around as mm. it did for me with, with Whitney. I've never been so passionate and enthusiastic, mm-hmm. you know, uh, and, you know, in the last couple of years, I've certainly been, you know, satisfied. Now, Angela, initially when you were speaking about Whitney and you're talking about how she had this perfectly crafted image, and it made me think about the study I saw recently that said that depression is at an all-time high. Mm. And they were looking at the stem of it, and it's because we just have access to so many lives with social media. So we have the perception Mm. of these Mm. polished-up lives everyone is living. And it made me think, would you be okay with sharing like a moment in your own life where things were low and how you were able to find your resilience? Oh, with hormones. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amen. Hey, hey, hormones. Hey, man. Hormones. 
Oh. Wow. All right. That's a fair answer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Angela. All right. Uh, real quick before you go, all of us are fans of yours. Uh, we yes. want to see if you're a fan of yourself. You have a game called? All right. <laughs> Simple game. DB okay. over there is going to ask you, uh, he's going to play clips from your life, right? That's right. And you have to guess which movies these lines came from. Ready? Number okay. one. Then we can drink to make it changes. <laughs> play, play that again, Angela. Looks surprised. You've never Give me it. some more. That's all I get. Yeah. Huh? Okay, let's see I can the... name that, that movie can to make it changes. You had a then meeting with the actor before the movie to break the ice. Oh, okay. With Wesley? No, no, that's not Wesley and Wait and Texas. Robert De Niro. Oh, oh, you. The score. Oh, okay. <laughs> what movie was that, DB? The score with the Robert score. De Niro. Okay, all, right. all right, number two. Mm. You have to work on your handwriting. Is that with Trey and Boys in the Hood? Yep, Boys in the Hood. Oh, good. All right, number three. Sound like I was talking to somebody young. So. <laughs> Bates Street, two blocks from the dust. Two blocks from where? Bates Street, two blocks from the dust. Ah, uh, let's see. I think that's the one and only time I played a Lady of the Night. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, I can't remember the name, the title though. Eddie Murphy. Oh, no, 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 no. That's a different one. Okay. Then that's Vampire in Brooklyn? Correct. Vampire in Brooklyn. <laughs> wow. Two out no, of three. I was a cop in that. Yeah. <laughs> Two out of three is not bad, right? We got more? Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's go. The one that recorded the static? Was that me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it didn't sound like me. Wow. The one that recorded the static? Oh, Contact. Got it. Contact. Matthew McConaughey and Jodie Foster. Yeah. Got oh, right. There it is. There's oh, the last one. Last clip. Fuck me for not leaving your ass back. <laughs> I know that one. Exactly. You know, waiting to excel. You got it. Yeah, yeah. Angela Bassett, fan of herself. <laughs> uh, Angela, thank you for gracing us with yes, your presence. Thank you. And thank you have you to today. come back. Absolutely. I would love to. Wait, say my name again. Sway. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 really oh, I'm admit. done. All right. <laughs> and next time you see Oprah, tell her we said hi. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Angela Bassett, don't forget, uh, Whitney is coming on uh, this Saturday. This Saturday, mm-hmm. yeah. 8 Lifetime. PM on Lifetime. Congratulations. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. So proud. Up next can't week. wait for you to see it. Oh, I can't wait to see it. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.